Hello and welcome to a new lesson with me teaching you Arabic. Today I will dedicate this video on teaching you how to ask questions. So it's about interrogatives in Arabic. I will teach you um, uh, at, uh, questions that are similar to the WH questions in English. When, why, where, uh, how, and etc. And I will begin with asking about the subject. If I want to ask who in Arabic. Who? I, I usually begin with the interrogative, so it's like English. I begin with the um, question word, which is who. And in order to ask about the subject of the sentence, I should use the word man. Man. Okay, so if you remember, you in Arabic is anta for male and anti for female. If you have uh, watched my older videos, you will be familiar with these anta and anti. And I also told you that we never put the um, verb to be in the present tense, so there's no need, if I want to ask who are you, there's no need for are. I just um, choose man, which is who, and then I, I choose you directly without are, is, or am, okay? No verb to be in the present tense, no need to do it. Who you it means who are you. So let's apply this um, to Arabic. Who is man and you is anta. So man anta, who are you? Okay, man anti, who are you if I'm asking a female? So man is to ask about the subject. Okay, then I, will, I have to ask about objects which are things. Um, which is used by what in English. In Arabic, we have two uh, ways to ask about what. If it's an object, then I would choose the word ma, ma. So if you are, no, I don't want to give this example. Um, what is this? I should say ma, and then the word this. That you still don't know it, but I will say it anyway. Ma, hada. Ma hada means what is this because ma means what. So if I want to ask about an object but about uh, something that you did, okay, what did you do? That you do, what do you do? What will you do? So if I'm asking about a verb, what will be mada. So ma means what but for normal nouns, objects, what is this? What um, is that? Um, what is your name? Okay. But if I want to ask about uh, things, uh, verbs, things that we do or we did or we will do, then I would choose the what, which is ماذا. So ما and ماذا. Okay. ماذا أكلت? What did you eat? I would never say ما أكلت because ما it should be followed by an object, a noun. ماذا should be followed by a verb. Okay? All right. Um, when? When we would choose the word متى? متى? So if I want to ask, when did you eat? متى أكلت? متى أكلت? Okay? And then we will have to ask about where. Where did you eat? The word the interrogative for where is um, أين? أين? أين أكلت? Let's try to change verb. Where did you go? Aina zahabta. Aina zahabta. Okay. Where do you study? Aina tadrus. Aina tadrus. Okay. Now the last one is why. Why we say limada. 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 All together. Limada. Why did you go there? Limada zahabta ila hunak. Okay, I know the words, you still don't know the words, some of you still don't know these words, but um, just to get you into the Arab world, I'm going to say these phrases. Okay, I'm going to use a question, um, a sentence with each and every question that I told you today. Okay, so let's start with who. Okay, um, who are you? Man anta or man anti? And the response would be ana, aha. And uh, something else, okay? And what? Mada, mada, followed by verb. Mada akalta ams. What did you eat yesterday? Mada akalta eat ams yesterday, okay? And if I want to ask about what, but an object, um, what is this? Ma, ma ha 
هذا؟ ما هذا؟ What is this? Okay. ما هذا؟ Not ماذا هذا؟ Because ماذا is what but only for uh, uh, verbs after it. Sorry. Okay. When? When? Um, متى ذهبت إلى المدرسة؟ متى ذهبت إلى المدرسة؟ When? متى ذهبت؟ Did you go? إلى المدرسة to school. Okay. When did you go to school? متى ذهبت إلى المدرسة؟ Okay. And where? Um, where is the table? Aina, which is where? Aina, the table, because is doesn't exist. The table is a tawila, a tawila. So Aina a tawila. Where is the table? Okay. And why? Uh, why do you study Arabic? Limada, which is why? Limada tadrusu. You study al Arabiya, al Arabiya. Why? Do you study Arabic? لماذا تدرس العربية? And then the response would be because it's a beautiful language. لأنها لغة جميلة. Okay? I hope you liked the, the lesson of today. Practice and um, uh, watch my following videos. I'm going to upload much more. Okay? See you. Bye.